Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to take an entire medicine cabinet of every prescription and over-the-counter drug you might need on a trip and fit it into two very tiny little bags. And I'm not talking about those wimpy little travel medicines. We're talking about nice bags of medicine with clear labels and lots of pills, not just two or four. You know, you can fit 20 of each. And all of that will be super convenient, very packable, and perfect for situations where you're traveling, especially if you're doing one bag travel and you don't have a lot of space. So this all started a couple years ago. I was planning on going on a trip where I was volunteering in Haiti and everything I brought had to fit in this really tiny 30 liter carry-on and I was well aware that I wouldn't have access to a typical hospital or clinic or even a pharmacy when I was down there. So if I got sick, I had to take care of myself and the people I was with. And being a bit of a prepper, I got to thinking, how could I fit all the stuff I might need in my tiny bag? So I remember looking at the medicine cabinet at all the different drugs I had and wondering what I should bring. And of course you need to bring Advil and also an naproxen sodium, maybe you have aches and pains. It's good to have aspirin and definitely acetaminophen if you're working a fever. And I wanted to also keep some children's ibuprofen on me for my kids or kids there that I ran into. So right off the bat, we've got five bottles to deal with. And then Benadryl is really helpful for both allergies and sleeping. And I also take Zyrtec for my seasonal allergies. And what if I get a cold? Gonna need this for sinus, gonna need that if I'm coughing, and then I might need this if it goes into my lungs and I need to break it up. And then what if I get heartburn, or really bad heartburn, or upset stomach from traveling, or really upset stomach, or things aren't moving? And then we all have prescription medicines, right? Especially when you're traveling. Uh, I had anti malarial pills, I also had some really strong antibiotic in case I got really sick. And what if I got car sick bouncing around in the back of a Jeep for a couple hours a day or I couldn't get to sleep at night? You know, when you think about what could happen, you begin to realize you might need a whole lot of different kinds of medicine. You probably won't use most of them on a trip, but just in case, it's nice to have them. But this is not a real reasonable thing to fit into a 30 liter backpack, is it? Now, I know some of you are probably saying, come on, that's not realistic. But I can tell you for sure that on many of our family trips, we've gone in and ransacked our medicine cabinet and grabbed maybe not all of those medicines, but quite a few of them. And what we end up doing is we end up throwing them into a packing cube or a big Ziploc bag or heck, even a grocery bag and maybe throwing it into a suitcase and everything's rattling around and things fall out of the boxes and it's just a big mess. And if I were to take all of these things and put them into a large packing cube and put them into my Osprey 30 liter backpack, well, you'll see there's no room for other stuff really. This is a small bag. So this would be fine if I wanted to go down to Haiti or Africa or wherever I'm headed to and not bring clothes, but it's not really a good solution. Now, if you have a first aid kit, you know there's medicines in here. And if we open them up, usually the medicines in these first aid kits, first of all, they're very limited in terms of what the options are. So in this particular one, there is ibuprofen, there is acetaminophen, and there's aspirin. So basically the holy trilogy of uh, fever and pain relief are in here, but that's pretty much it. And they come in these weird little packages that only have two pills a piece. And I like to take three Advil at a time. Thank you very much. And they're kind of expensive and they expire really quickly. So, you know, if you go on Amazon, you can buy this kit, for example, that has pretty much all of the medicines that are available in this size. Uh, you can see it's not nearly all the kinds of medicines that I would want to bring. And they're really expensive. And it just seems like a waste when I have all these bottles sitting at home. So I researched a ton online trying to find a good solution for carrying pills. And I finally came across these things on Amazon. It's called the pill bag. 
and uh, you can get a hundred of them. I think I paid about six or seven bucks. That was a two pack price. And here's what they look like. Uh, they are three inches by two inches and you get a hundred in a pack, which is great. So basically it's a lifetime supply of pill bags. I think these are designed for people to, you know, just put a day's worth of medicine in them, maybe a mixed bunch of medicines. But for our purposes, I think they're going to be perfect. So uh, this is what they are. They're really kind of very heavy duty plastic. Uh, they're much heavier than like a sandwich bag or something. Uh, they have really good zippers on them, and then they have a surface where you can write very easily with a pen if you want to. And uh, they're very small, but they actually can hold quite a bit of stuff. And the pills do tend to sort of flatten out into a nice single layer, which I really like. So if you're curious how many pills you can fit in one of these, well, the answer is it's going to depend on the size of the pill, right? But I figure, you know, everyone knows how big a jelly bean is, so... I grabbed some jelly beans and it turns out that you can very easily fit 20 standard size jelly beans in one of these bags. And like I said, they flatten out into one layer. So they're actually not bulky at all. And so you can fit quite a bit in here. Uh, definitely more than enough medicine you need for a trip. And uh, so what I did, because I'm a little obsessive, is I decided that I wanted to make really good labels for these because I didn't want to show up at the airport with a bunch of handwritten labels on here with no information. So I went out and I would find the logos for each of these drugs. Uh, I went with the name brand. So unlike the camping ones or the first aid kit ones that have the weird names, uh, I wanted the brand name because I actually recognize that much faster. And so I found the logos and I turned them from bitmap pixels into vectors in Adobe Illustrator and I laid everything out into a nice grid that's easy to print and for each one I grabbed the actual drug name and wrote down how many milligrams each pill was and then I would find out what it was for and then I would add in the dosage information for myself. So that's a really important thing. Uh, the instructions on these things are fairly lengthy because they have to handle every possible person and scenario. Uh, so I just basically wrote down what I needed to know. So how many pills I needed to take, how often, and if there was a max per day. And I laid all these out in Illustrator uh, based on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. A bunch of trial and error to figure out how big everything needed to be. And I set up a nice set of grid lines that are very light and thin. So that's where you can cut them. And so at this point, it was just a matter of printing them out. Uh, I just used regular paper. I probably should have used thicker paper, but I didn't. And I just have a simple black and white laser printer. Uh, the labels are not in color and I didn't really want to mess with that. And in case you're curious, yes, there is a link to a PDF in the description so that you can print off your own pill bag labels. So this is the finished product after they've been printed out. Uh, they look really nice and really crisp because I turned them into vector logos. And so now it's just a matter of cutting them out very carefully with a pair of scissors. Uh, if you have the tool at hand, if you have one of those wire cutters, uh, that works really well for cutting the straight lines. So I use a combination of scissors and an art cutter. You know, you can do whatever you want. Once everything's cut out, just a matter of assembling everything. So you just take the pre-printed label that's been cut, you slide it into the bag. I put it on the side without the writing part so that it's nice and clear. And then it's just a matter of dumping in however many pills you want to. Um, I find that I can very easily fit, you know, at least 20 per bag. Uh, sort of depends on how many you're gonna use. Everybody loves Advil. It's what I call brain candy. So I bring quite a bit of that. And then I try to squish everything down to a flat layer and make sure that the label is not getting caught on the zipper and you're good to go. Now I would strongly recommend noting the expiration date on each bottle and using a Sharpie to write that either on the back of the bag or the back of the label, just somewhere so that you can make sure that your medicines are not expired and that you can stay on top of rotating them. So here's a few tips from somebody who has filled quite a few pill bags in my time. So first of all, for things like Benadryl that normally come in a blister pack, if you look around, a lot of times you can find those in a bottle. 
so you don't have to deal with taking them out of the blisters. Uh, for things like Sudafed, I haven't had any luck finding those just in a bottle. So for those, I just pop them out of the blister pack so I can fit a lot more in a pill bag. So one exception to that rule is Unisom, if you happen to want to use it. Uh, these little blue pills completely disintegrate into dust when you put them into the bag. They just don't have enough binder in them. So for those particular ones, I leave them in the blister pack. You can fit six in a bag, or if you did two sheets of six, you could fit 12 if you really wanted to. But honestly, I hardly ever use these things, so six is more than enough. All right, so this is the end result. Now we have every single medicine in its own little bag with a label. And uh, this probably took me two hours because I made a set for myself and a set for my wife and a set for the car. Uh, so it does take a bit of time. It's probably worth doing it all in one go. It's pretty amazing though how much stuff we can fit in such a small area. And one quick tip on cold medicines. There are daytime and nighttime and regular cold and flu and all sorts of crazy combinations. And what's clear to me now is usually those include one pain slash fever reducer and then one, two or three of those cold components. And then sometimes there might be some sort of a sleeping uh, agent like Benadryl or Unisom. So. Uh, you don't need all those combination cold things. You can just basically mix and match the things you need based on your symptoms. And obviously be very careful about drug interactions and only use combinations of medicines that you see in existing cold mixes. All right, so here's all of our pill bags. This first row is all of the pain and fever medicines. This next row is my cold medicines as well as that sleeping. And then here are a number of things for upset stomach. And then we also have Benadryl and some prescription drugs here. So everything's kind of organized by topic. And I found these really small bags. These actually were used for camp towels. So my little camp towels came in these zippered bags. I found these were kind of the perfect size. And so I can take these four uh, pain medicines and drop them in. And then I'm gonna group those with the uh, cold medicine because those two are typically used together and those are used more commonly. So we're gonna put all those into one bag. And once all eight of these pill bags are in here, it's kind of amazing how small these bags still look. So we'll zip them up and, you know, they're not overstuffed by any stretch and they're less than an inch thick. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing. So that takes the place of eight pill bottles. And in our second pack towel bag, we're going to put all the remaining medicines and those all fit really well. And so essentially I can fit my entire medicine cabinet worth of options in just two very small zippered bags. And these are so small that you could slip them into a tiny pocket in your backpack. You could even throw them in your pocket. Uh, so yeah, I mean, doesn't get any more compact or portable than this. And I really like that effect that everything is well labeled. Um, now if you unzip them, you can kind of flip through here. I wish I could find the ideal bag, but, uh, you can still flip through and see the labels pretty clearly. Uh, it's a little fiddly though. So if anyone has ideas on other bags to try, they need to be two inches by three inches. Uh, I would love to hear suggestions cause I've been scouring Amazon and haven't found the ideal bag. These are pretty darn close, but, uh, really open to suggestions. So please comment below. Now those two bags are my just in case you get sick bags. Uh, there are a couple medicines that I need every night. So I take some seasonal allergy medicine. I have an asthma pill. I might need Advil. I might need some Tums. So what I do is I have a smaller set of pill bags and I can just put those right into this back pocket on my toiletry kit. And when they're in there, you really can't even tell they're there. They take up zero space. 
and that way I always have the things I need every night close at hand. I also made up a medicine bag for the car and in this case I use these little micro packing cube from Eagle Creek and uh, these are great. I just wish they were maybe a half an inch taller and then they would be absolutely perfect for this. Uh, so if you open it up, you can see the bags have to be kind of folded over a little bit, but they're much easier to flip through. So, you know, we have our typical uh, pain medicine. We've got some allergy medicine, stuff like that. I also have band-aids and things like that in the lid of this bag. So uh, this is basically a super micro first aid kit that we can keep in the car with you know, just the handful of things that we might need. So we've got band-aids and we have uh, triple antibiotic cream and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we have a real first aid kit in the car, but this is the thing that we keep in the front of the car with us so that we can quickly grab uh, what we need while we're driving. And one quick addendum as far as bags go, after a lot of Amazon searching, we did find this little makeup bag. Uh, it's only eight bucks and it's a pretty good size. It's a little bit taller than it needs to be, but you can't beat the price and it's got some really cool patterns on it. It uh, seems to work pretty well. If we line this up with this pill bag, you can see just how much a little bit of extra space there is above the bag. If this was maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch shorter, it would be perfect. But as it stands, it still works well and you could probably throw some other things at the bottom. So the one thing I don't really need in this bag are these little pouches on the side. I'm guessing they're for lipstick. I'm not carrying lipstick here. So luckily the stitching is not very strong. So it doesn't take much time with my knife to just cut these pouches out. And be sure in the comments to let me know if you have other ideas for bags. Uh, they need to be two by three inches thereabouts and thick enough to handle as many bags as you want to store. All right, well, that's it for my super micro compact medicine bag. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I think you'll really enjoy it if you are uh, traveling and you want to travel light. So uh, please comment if you have any ideas on good cases that would work well for this. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, there is a PDF for these labels in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone.